now I request uh, Professor Uday Deshai. He is uh, not only a member of our governing council, but he's the one who is actually building a great institution again in Hyderabad. One of the newer IITs, but the most successful newer IITs, and then great academic leader. Sir, please. So, <coughs> Uh, Professor Raj Reddy, uh, Shri Raju, Mr. Chandrasekhar, Mr. Sani, uh, Mr. BBR, Mr. Mohan Reddy. He also happens to be the chairman of my board. Okay. Uh, I think this is a great and a very uh, uh, momentous occasion. So I'd like to start off by congratulating everybody, you know, the students, uh, the faculty, the leadership, the pioneers out here who built this particular institution. And as was mentioned, and it doesn't, I think it bears repetition as often as possible that Today, IIIT is not simply a leading institution in Andhra Pradesh, it is a leading institution in the country and it's also recognized overseas. Okay? I think that recognition is beginning to come when you travel abroad also people do talk about IIIT Hyderabad. Uh, so this is a great achievement. Moreover, I think the bigger achievement is that it has become a role model for future IIITs. From what I understand, the ministry has set up uh, a target of starting a you know, large number of them essentially molded on this particular vision that was pioneered by IIIT Hyderabad. So I think, you know, the leadership out here, the pioneers who built this institute can really feel very proud, not just that they have built this particular institution, but they have set a trend in their country where now every state most likely will be having, you know, one such institution. So uh, from the bottom of my heart, you know, I would really like to congratulate you. Very rarely one, one has an achievement which spans not simply a region, an area, but spans the whole generation of time. Okay. So this is a, a, you know, and my deepest congratulations for that. Uh, the second thing which bears a bit of reputation, I think uh, Mr. Mohanreddy talked about, to me it's always about people. As Vasudev mentioned, you know, I'm the founding director of IIT Hyderabad, and one question I always get asked, construction hua ki nahi? Okay, I mean, I'm from the day one, the day one I took it up, practically hardly a week goes by without this phrase, you know. Construction hua ki It could be in English, in Telugu, in Hindi, Marathi, whatever language, but the bottom line is that. Frankly, to me, brick and mortar is pedestrian. It can be done. There is no rocket science in it, it's not really. It's people. And what I feel is, I, uh, IIIT Hyderabad was extremely fortunate to have some fantastic people, okay, uh, starting with Mr. Sahani, who you know, thought of it, uh, Professor Raj Reddy, Mr. Chandrasekhar, Srini Raju, the initial directors, Narendra Ahuja, I mean, I knew him even before he took over as director of uh, IIIT Hyderabad. Rajiv Sangal, he is of course a good friend of mine. We come both graduated from the same institute roughly at the same time. Okay, PGN also I knew uh, even before he shifted to IIIT Hyderabad. I think a remarkable group of people, you know, Vasudev of course I got to know him after I came to Hyderabad. Okay, amazing group of people and I think this is what is very crucial. If one lesson one has to learn, from Triple ID Hyderabad, I would say is that get the right group of people and good things will happen, great things will happen. Okay. Uh, lastly, the third, last point I would like to make before I conclude is, you know, anybody who has done any kind of hitchhiking or mountaineering, you know, uh, where you climb hills, the first hill is very easy to climb. Okay. So the first five years must have been relatively, you know, as a, as excitement is different. Okay. The second hill says five years is easier, now we have climbed the third hill, 15 years. It gets tougher as you go along. It's not going to get any easier. It, it gets tougher. It requires a lot more energy. Anybody who has got it, finally actually you get exhausted after a while. You know, I mean, you keep looking at different peaks. Most of the mountains are that way, right? They, they, they cascade. Okay. Uh, so I think you have a great task ahead of you. Okay. You have achieved a lot, but what you have, you know, as one of the targets that Srini Raju talked about, yes, this institute definitely has the potential to be in the top 100. The question is talked about in the parliament, everywhere. And just to share with you, Dr. Palam Raju had a workshop in Delhi talking about uh, uh, how we can get our ranking into the place. Uh, Times Higher Education was invited okay, and they gave a presentation. Then a committee has been set up. I am a member of that committee. In fact, tomorrow, uh, yeah, tomorrow evening we have a meeting where people from QS ranking are coming in Delhi. At 6 p.m. we are going to sit together, discuss what can be done. So I think a lot of thought is now given into what is it that we can do. And I think it is not that difficult, you know, I mean, in a lighter vein, I say, if you want to get into the ranking, you should learn how to play the game. 
Okay, it is not really. Uh, I think that is what ranking is all about. We shouldn't get awed by this particular thing. We have to realize the nitty gritty. You know, it's, the analogy I give is like, you know, once India won the first World Cup in '83, and things followed after that. Today we are like a major contender. Even Australia fears us. Okay, so I think it can be done. It's not something difficult. We put our heads to it, and maybe I'll share with you whatever uh, uh, we gather from these meetings. Because it's a national initiative, it's nothing to do with IITs. Though IIT gets, IITs get picked the first, then I guess the triple IIT. So we always bear the brunt of any kind of you know, <laughs> things which are not <laughs> talked about it. But I think, so I, I think that ranking will be done. But my feeling is that we have to now plan, you know, I'm saying we because I'm a member of the governing council, is, is that what will be, what will triple IIT achieve for the next, in the next decade? Maybe in two, five year plans, Okay, I think that is very crucial and they are going to be harder because you have already climbed three big hills. You are there, you are recognized and expectations are also higher. You know, when you start off as, as was mentioned about, you know, I mean people didn't expect much. This is a new institution coming out like many others. Okay, good. Now the expectations are higher. When people look at Triple IT, they feel yes, they should be really up there. They are already up there, you expect it to much higher up there. So I think we have great leadership, uh, PJN is there. I'm sure he'll achieve it, but I think uh, he'll need the support of all the pioneers and the new great team that will come forward to take this institution to the next level. So I wish this institution all the best. I'm sure it will really reach many, many more peaks in days to come. And with those few words, I thank you again for giving me this opportunity.